The summer season already has enough anime to keep us hyped, but let's try to peek into the future and see what we have in store. Come on, being ready with your watch list is always better than scratching your heads while wondering what to watch during the start of the season. So here are the best upcoming fall 2021 anime that you should be watching. Number 10. Miyaruko-chan Most anime do the comedy genre very well, but what about the horror genre? It's rare to see some Higurashi-like horror stories gracing the TV screen. But you know what's rarer than that? Finding a good horror comedy anime. This is where Mie Ruko-chan comes in. It's a show that nicely blends the horror and comedy genre while giving you both shivers and laughs while you follow the adventures of Miko. Miko is an ordinary school student, but her life turns upside down when she gets the ability to see monsters. But don't worry, not all monsters are scary. The anime is filled with a colorful cast, unique horror elements, and jokes that can make your ribs crack. So if you want to laugh while hiding under your sheets, here is the anime for you. Number 9. Takto Opsu Destiny A madhouse and mapper combo on an anime based on a video game? If we didn't get more awesome stuff down the line, then I'd say that this is the best gift from Fall 2021. From the looks of the trailer, you can see that this one's going to turn into a visual slugfest, and since it's based on a video game, you can expect tons and tons of action as well. As for the story, we've got everybody's favourite apocalyptic setting that isn't very original for a story. But combine those gorgeous visuals and well choreographed fight scenes with a mediocre story and I'll still watch it. Anime has been doing justice for game adaptations so far, so let's hope that this one is also going to be good. Number 8. Sword Art Online Progressive Movie It's Sword Art Online. Does it need any reintroduction? During the first two seasons, people were divided based on the reviews of the show, but everyone united back again during Alicization to prove that the father of all isekais still had some tricks up its sleeve. With this movie, fans can go back to the roots of Kirito and Asuna's relationship. How did it start? What sort of monsters did they fight in the first few floors? These are the questions that the movie hopes to answer. So far, it feels like the SAO team is trying to correct its past mistakes with this remake. So let's see if we get a more refined story and better action with this movie. Number 7. Platinum End Want some Mirai Nikki? Heck, even the guy's first name is Mirai. So you can already guess where this one's going. Yep, Platinum End is like the modern version of Mirai Nikki, minus the Andre girlfriend, of course. We've got one depressed boy fighting to become the god candidate. And don't worry, his fight isn't lonely, because we've got another 12 god candidates waiting to kill him. Overall, this feels like it's repeating the same death game formula, but with better production values. So expect a few cliches here and there, with some great animation. The main character also seems to have a bit of a unique backstory, so I believe that that can help push this story forwards. Number 6. World Trigger Season 3 Well, well, two World Trigger seasons in one year? Are the production teams really bringing back the hype? It is almost a surprise how such an abandoned series is suddenly getting noticed by the Japanese production companies. Here we have everyone's favorite dystopian setting where humanity is attacked by aliens. But these aliens, dubbed as neighbors, are more than your typical threat. So to combat them, the Border Defense Agency creates weapons known as triggers. When one such member of the agency finds Yumakuga, a neighbor disguised in the form of a human, you can really see how things start to get turned upside down. Its second season was already released this year, and it did a great job continuing the story, so I think season 3 is going to do the same. Number 5. 86 Season 2 Remember 86? That story that started like Attack on Titan on a Code Geese setting? But along with that, we've also got an emotional wild ride with a great cast of characters. The female characters here also don't fall into the usual damsel in distress trope, which also helped to propel the popularity of the anime. The second season of 86 is releasing this fall. And even though many are surprised to get two seasons in one year, I can tell the anime producers don't want to let the hype of the first season go to waste. A1 Pictures seems to have a lot on their hands, but I'm sure they'll do the second season of this anime justice by adapting the rest of the light novel. <laughs> Number 6. 
Date Alive 4. Enough with the action, how about some harem love comedy? If you're surprised why Date Alive is so high on the list, that's because of its legacy. This harem anime is one of those shows that created the harem genre, and having three seasons and a strong fanbase is proof of it. Of course, the story started pretty small, with all the characters being one-dimensional, but through its seasons, the writers have managed to add backstories to these characters and give them some nice character arcs. Don't go in expecting Shakespeare writing in this one, but it will give you some great action, plus a nice harem. Number 3. Jujutsu Kaisen Movie Jujutsu Kaisen shook the entire anime industry with its action and production quality when it got released, so it's no wonder that it's getting a movie after two seasons of silence. For anyone who doesn't know, the original Jujutsu Kaisen story followed Yuji Itadori. To protect his friend from a curse, Yuji swallows a finger of Sukuna, which is not something your doctor would recommend. Now with the host of Sukuna released from this talisman residing within him, Yuji becomes the target of many sorcerers as everyone tries to exercise him. But the movie will follow a different storyline by stepping some time back and showing the stories of Yuta and everyone's favorite sensei, Satoru Gojo. Number 2. Komi Can't Communicate No matter how many action shows we get, we'll always need that one slice of life anime to calm things down and placate our minds. Continuous hype is good, but if you want to take a break from all the action, then Komi san wa is there to cheer you up. You might say that you've seen that shy and introvert anime girl who doesn't like to speak with anyone before, but Komi Can't Communicate puts a fresh spin on the story by pairing her up with a boy who wants to help her make friends. Not just one friend, a hundred friends. If that doesn't give you any wholesome feelings, then I don't know what will. So if you like a slice of life story with a bit of romance, then this one's for you. Number 1. Mushoku Tensei Season 2 Is this the year where we get two seasons at once? World Trigger 86 and finally Mushoku Tensei. The anime studios seem really busy despite the pandemic, or perhaps it's the producers forcing them to overwork and give us second seasons. But either way, Mushoku Tensei is coming back for a second round by continuing where it left off. The second season ended halfway through Eris and Rudius Lost Adventure. So this time, we can see where they're going to be heading and what sort of challenges they're going to be facing. People say this is the world's best isekai, and I'm not about to deny it. It's got everything an isekai needs, plus more. So, just like you, I'm super hyped for the anime, and I really do hope it does a good job, just like the first season. So there goes the 10 best anime releasing this fall season. Make sure to keep an eye out for these along with their release dates. And also let me know down in the comments what anime you're planning on watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out and forget to watch any of the videos that we release next. Thanks for watching anime fans, and I'll see you in the next video.